Hey guys, Mix here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a problem, pretty big problem, that I found with the dirt bike. This could definitely delay us with the build. I'm hoping that it's not. I'm hoping that it's not gonna be as important. I mean, it's pretty big. I'll show you guys in a second, but I'm hoping that it won't delay us a lot, but I'll show you guys right now. So I was just going around, take off the seat, you know, just minding my own business, take it right off, and boom, this is what I see. As you guys can see, we have a hole right into the frame right right under where the the driver sits obviously and this part i mean it's all rusted out so i mean i obviously i knew it was rusted but i didn't know that it was that rusted that it'll actually make a hole through the frame so that makes me uh question the uh structural integrity of this frame as you can see there's rust over here um i mean that that's pretty thin that hole so i mean i'm sure if i push down hard enough yeah i just thought I heard a crack. I'm sure if I press down hard enough, my finger just break right through it. But I mean, you know, as you guys know, there's rust all over here. I mean, this stuff, I mean, it, seem, it seems fine. It just seems like the outer layer. But that, that's pretty serious. That's way inside. The rest of the frame that's on the top, try and get the focus here. So as you can see, that frame that's on the top, what's left of the top part looks super skinny. So, I mean, when I'm riding this, I don't want this um, to kind of wear down over time, um, especially with all the stress that's gonna be, I mean, I've sat on the bike obviously, but when I go off-roading, there's gonna be more stress on the frame because obviously I'm gonna be hitting more bumps. And a person that I know actually offered to powder coat and sandblast the frame for me, um, which is really awesome. I'm, I was really considering doing it, um, but I'm wondering if getting it sandblasted and all that will make that wear down even more and then I'll have to get a whole new part of the frame re-welded on. I don't have a welder. I don't know anyone that know that has a welder. So I was told that um, that a soldering tool over time, you can actually basically weld um, two pieces of metal together. So, I mean, I, I could research that more and see if that actually works. Or maybe you guys could just let me know down in the comments if soldering um, on metal long enough will make it melt together. And if I get this sandblasted and powder coated and everything like that, I don't want I don't want this to end up getting worse than it already is. I mean, I could push down on it pretty hard, like the whole bike shaking right now. I sat on it, didn't hear any cracks or anything. Like if it gets sandblasted, this whole park can get worn down uh, way worse than it already is. I mean, it, it looks like that this stuff that the original owner just painted right over. I mean, because this paint looks fairly new compared to the rest of the bike. So, I mean, there could be a whole ton of rust under here. Um, under there, it looks like it's about to crack through. Let me know down in the comments what you, th what you guys think uh, I should do with this. Uh, if you guys think maybe it's just too small to even worry about. Yeah, I mean, hitting it didn't even really flex at all, but um, you never know. But I'm still waiting on that stupid kill switch to come into the mail. Yeah, I've ordered it like a week ago. It's still not here. So it shipped finally. Um, so it's saying it should be here on Monday the 4th, which is kind of a uh, while away. Maybe it comes earlier. Um, a lot of times that happens from ordering parts. It comes like a couple of days earlier than what it estimated as. So I know guys that this was a short video. I want to make a longer video, but I just, I just have nothing to record because I can't work on this yet because I'm held up from that stupid part to come into the mail. I wish I got work on this. I wish I could make longer videos for you guys. Next video, hopefully with this, we'll be finally getting the part. Um, it'll be awesome if it could come this weekend. Or just comment down below if you guys have a video idea that you guys want to see. Maybe something with off-roading again or just anything that you guys want to see. And I'll try and make it happen. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're almost at 7,000 subscribers, which is awesome. Um, we're growing insanely together, and that is awesome. Thank you guys for all the support. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe, like, comment, and tell your friends about the channel. Thanks for watching.